welcome to your general reading for October. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email is in the description box, as always, along with the information about what decks of cards I use in all the videos. Okay, um, so let's see here. We've had one jump out already, six of scrolls. Sands of time. So you could be feeling like the time is running out or somebody, if you have a soulmate connection, somebody in your mind, they may be getting the urge now feeling time is running out. I have to make a move. It's now or never sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we'll see as the rest of the cards come out. But that's the signs of time. Maybe feeling like, you know, the door is closing on one situation. Maybe you've waited a long time for somebody and you just know longer willing to waste time waiting when you know you haven't had a sign of them here five of keys wishes fulfilled i love this card um i think sagittarius just got it and i absolutely love the wishes fulfilled card so let's see you guys getting wishes fulfilled it may be that you're closing down a chapter so you're opening yourself up to new things now new beginnings yeah, the initiation and the Count St. Germain there. Okay, so definitely new beginnings here. You know, um, you could be, you know, like, look, I've waited a long time. I'm going to take the initiative now. Um, it's now or never. I'm going to make the move. If it doesn't, you know, pay off, then, you know, I've learned that it's not going to work. But at least I get to stop wasting time here. Um, and for others of you here, I feel like, um, you know, opening up this new chapter fulfills like your desires here. So good things will be coming in for you guys during October. You are a water sign, you know, so once we get to Scorpio season, it will be easier for you. Um, I feel like during Libra season, that's when you're going to be kind of feeling um, it's a time about looking at relationships, friendships, family ships. Um, so you will be you know, like closing the door on some things here, like the time's run out, I'm moving on. And that opens up the gates for these beautiful things to flow in during Scorpio season, the second half of October there. So four of swords. OK, so somebody hasn't made their move yet. And it definitely feels like, you know, um, them not making a move. Time is running out for that connection. They haven't contacted you yet and... Maybe you're tired of waiting, you know, so you're just going to be like, I'm closing the door now. I'm closing that chapter and, you know, um, I'm starting something new. So let's see here. King of Pentacles. So it could be with this earth sign. You may have been waiting a long time and you're like, you know what? I'm done waiting. Time's run out. They, they've been too slow. They're not making any moves here. And it seems like in October... They still haven't made a move. So you kind of like, you know, I've been generous waiting when actually I should be looking after myself. Um, I should be focusing on work and things like that. It does seem that with the King of Pentacles, work will be good. It's like working for a good company here. Um, money taking off somebody, you know, offering you an investment or something here that maybe you've been waiting for. But this person seems to be still resting. They're still not making a move. It's like they're still thinking about it. They're still contemplating about it. But the sands of time there are ticking away. I feel like, you know, you're getting tired of waiting if it is that. It's getting bored. It's getting boring. Four of Cups is boring. Yeah. You know, you're discontented with how they've acted in this whole situation. You know, you're waiting on this offer. You kind of know it's coming, but you're bored of waiting now. You're prime. You're ready. You're willing to accept the offer if it comes. And this can be business as well as like a relationship. It can even be like a love offer that you haven't even met yet. You're just like, I'm done waiting. So it's like you're either going to pick up the initiative and go put yourself out there and start meeting people because you're bored with life, discontented. You're going to bring your own fun here. Or if you've been waiting on a certain person, you're like, I'm done waiting. 
I'm done waiting here. It's been a long time. Could have been a year. It could have been four years. Look at that. Ten of Wands. You're dropping these burdens. Like, I will rebuild this damn tower of my own here. I've waited for you to come and help me. You're not. I've waited for you to come and offer to, you know, be with me. Half the burden here. Let's work this out. But they're just letting you do all the work on your own. So you're like, I'm not feeling that anymore. I'm going to drop this burden and I'm going to start afresh because after the Ten of Wands comes the Ace of Wands, opportunities. And that's what you're having here. You'll have the opportunity to meet new people even, start a new job, um, things that you desire, things that you want. You're going to have a whole new opportunity once you let go of this burden, let go of this waiting. And it's like... You know, you could have both, but one could have been waiting for the other to make a move. So both of you have kept the situation at a standstill here. So it's just become a burden that you carry with you. And it's time to drop that burden there. Or like I said, take the initiative. Make the offer. If it's rejected, you know where you stand. The star card. So yeah, you definitely want to get back on track with your life here. You know, like... I waited. I feel like you're the one, but I'm bored of waiting here. I've got to, you know, find the balance here between, you know, reality and love and a connection and compromise and healing. I've, you know, and that really is healing. Like, I'm not waiting for anybody. If you're waiting for somebody, you're still healing. So I feel like, you know, you're getting to that point where you're almost fully healed. And again, a card for wishes granted. So you're like, you know, I'm dropping these burdens and I'm going to make some offers, offers myself or make some opportunities for myself. I'm going to go get my life because, you know, the sands of time aren't waiting for anybody. Time keeps passing here. It would drop all the way there, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a six of wands. Oh, yeah. Six of Wands. OK. And this is successfully completing a spiritual lesson. This is like somebody then taking notice because you've started to move on and started to get attention from other people. So I, I, I don't agree with that, like takes other people noticing you for them to come forward. But you are going to start getting offers the minute you just be like, I'm closing this cycle down. Ten of Wands is closing of cycles. It's getting a lot of fire behind you here. Like, yeah, I'm just really getting out there now. And I really want to do well and overcome this and be successful. And it shows you will with the King of Pentacles. It shows success, shows victory, like you healing and finally overcoming things here. So let's see here. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, you could find a better match. It could be that there's something better out there waiting for you to come in the minute you just drop this burden, okay? Somebody who's also working on themselves, somebody who is a hard worker, somebody of the same vibration, somebody worthy of you. I mean, like, they'll want to nurture you, want to look after you here, they want to take you to dinner. I said there's other people taking notice of you. And if you've been waiting for a long time and rejecting offers from other people, you might find that you start accepting offers now because you're like, well, time's slipping away from me while I'm waiting for this person. So here's somebody who's a better match for me. You know, they're giving what I'm giving. This is somebody who's generous of their time. Somebody who like cares about healing as well, healing themselves um, <clears throat> and looking after themselves. Six of Cups. There you go. You see, this six is their positive energy flowing in, okay? So once you, and the Six of Scrolls, that is also the Sands of Time, okay? It's also um, a number six card. 
So it's about needing to grab a hold of these positive energies when they come in for you and really allowing that situation to work, you to move forward, progress here, you know, and be successful, have victory. Six of Cups, it can be somebody um, returning from the past, okay, um, it's a soulmate card. And like I said, with the six of wands, it kind of feels like now somebody else is taking notice of you. They start to take notice of you, which is a bit, uh, you know. So, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's like that. I posted a song the other day saying um, it's called I Bet, you know, and it says, I bet you start loving me. I'll put it in the description box. I bet you start loving me as soon as I start loving somebody else, somebody better than you. And it's like, this is what I'm feeling here. You know, when you decide to, like, I'm not waiting anymore, I'm wasting my life, all this good stuff comes in for you, you leave this burden behind, you meet a nice person, and then boom, somebody wants to come back and show their face, you know? But they should have done it sooner, right? Because here we have, you know, Dawn setting there, you know? Time's nearly up for this person to come forward. They're nearly out of time here. Two of Swords, yeah. Indecision held them back. So indecision in itself is a decision because then you didn't get any information from them knowing that they want you. So you end up moving on, you know? What can you do if they didn't let you know, if they didn't step up and they didn't let you know? How was you supposed to know? This is why she's blindfolded. Because you didn't have all the information. The moon's there. You know, it wasn't revealed to you here. So how was you supposed to know how this soulmate felt? You know, what their plan was. Why should you, you know, wait? But it's like this soulmate in you was guided to each other. Um are being watched over but because this soulmate hasn't made a move another soulmate has been sent in for you and that's how it goes if you don't make your move you can find a new soulmate somebody new will come in for you somebody on the right vibration because the soulmate connection you was in they didn't raise their vibration so then you're able to meet somebody who has up to, you know their vibration you're calling somebody in on the same level a better match for you and it's like the doors closing on that chapter there from the past five of wands okay so you know it could bring up this inner conflict for you um you know once this person shows back up it, you could start even having disagreements with them this I wouldn't allow this to get in the way if you start something new with somebody. Remember that, don't remember this person too fondly because with the Six of Cups, after a certain amount of times pass, we remember them more fondly than things actually happened or we remember it worse than it actually happened. So I feel like because, you know, they didn't have the information or they didn't take any action with the four of swords there. You know, you both was just like, you was comfortable not taking action. So both of you just didn't take action. So both of you was left and like the time's closing on this. Somebody else is coming in for you here. So, you know, that sort of drags and wakes your soulmate up here. But it shouldn't be that, oh, now other people are taking notice of you, that, you know, this soulmate now decides, oh, I want you back. You know, now you've met somebody and you're happy, I want you back. It shouldn't be like that. So I feel like it brings up this inner conflict. It can even bring up arguments with this uh, person from the past. So, you know, just be careful. You know, don't get dragged into their arguments or dragged down to, you know, their vibration. Good luck, guys.